Get ready Formula One fans, word on the street is that Christian Horner, the big boss at Red Bull, racing is in some hot water. Yep, you heard that right. It's been reported that he's facing an investigation by his own team due to serious allegations from one of their employees. Can you believe it? What could possibly have gone down behind the scenes? Well, you're in luck because we're about to dive into this juicy story. So let's buckle up and get ready to uncover the truth in today's video. And here we begin. A report says Red Bull is investigating its team principal Christian Horner's actions. According to De Telegraph, a newspaper, Horner is accused of inappropriate behavior by someone who works at Red Bull. The reigning Formula One champion Red Bull Racing is meeting on Friday to discuss the claims against Christian Horner. The report also says the team's top bosses know about the claims and have started an investigation. So far, neither the team nor its parent company, the big Austrian energy drink maker Red Bull, has said anything in public about the meeting or what's in the complaint that started this whole investigation. A spokesperson from Red Bull told The Telegraph that once we learned about some recent claims, we started an independent investigation. This process, which is already ongoing, is being carried out by an external specialized lawyer. The company takes these matters extremely seriously and the investigation will be completed as soon as practical. It would not be appropriate to comment further at this time. But Christian Horner, in an interview with the Dutch newspaper De Telegraaf, said, I deny these accusations completely. This investigation comes at a bad time for Horner. He's been a constant presence in Formula One for almost 20 years. He's known for being smart, outspoken and often in disagreements with Toto Wolff, the boss at Mercedes. Their clashes have been quite interesting to watch. Reuters reports that the meeting will take place at the team's headquarters in Millacording, Toynes, UK. As stated, Horner, who is married to ex-Spice Girls singer Jerry Halliwell, completely rejects the claims. However, last year was incredible for the 50-year-old and his team. Their driver, Max Verstappen, won his third title in a row, and Red Bull won 21 out of 22 races, making it the most dominating season in Formula One history. Horner has been leading Red Bull since they entered the sport in 2005, making him the team boss who's been around for the longest time. And when he started, he was the youngest team boss by far. Adrian Newey, a legendary Formula One engineer and the team's chief technical officer along with Horner, has been crucial to the team's success. It's believed that if Horner is forced to leave, Newey might also go. This could potentially end Red Bull's era of domination and have a huge impact on Formula One as a whole. Horner and Red Bull Horner has had strong connections with Red Bull since his days in F3000 and his association with Dietrich Mateschitz. Mateschitz, the founder of Red Bull, who passed away in 2022, bought the Jaguar F1 team in 2004. He saw potential in Horner and appointed him as the team principal in 2005. One of Horner's smart moves was hiring Adrian Newey, a highly skilled engineer and designer. Newey joined Red Bull in 2006 and played a key role in designing cars that won numerous championships. The cars designed by Newey won both the drivers' and constructors' titles every year from 2010 to 2013 the Drivers' Championship in 2021 and both championships in 2022 and 2023. The RB19 created by Newey had a remarkable season last year winning 21 out of 22 races making it the most successful car in F1 history by statistics. Red Bull needs to be careful because Newey's contract is linked to Horner's. If one of them leaves, the other might follow suit. Power and Sway especially considering the controversy in the last race of the 2021 season in Abu Dhabi, where Verstappen controversially took away what could have been Lewis Hamilton's record-breaking eighth world title on the final lap. As the team principal and chief executive of Red Bull Racing, Horner holds a lot of power and influence over a large empire centered at the team's headquarters in Milton Keynes, England. Under his leadership, the workforce at the company has grown significantly from 450 to 1,800. One of the claims from this group of people has shocked the Formula One community. This week, Williams chief James Vowles is one of the few people in a similar position to Horner, who has spoken publicly about the situation. Vowles told Bloomberg on Monday, without giving details about the claims, that all I can say is that should this ever happen in our regard, will be entirely supportive in terms of fixing it and making sure we have a culture that is accepting of everyone. 
I think it means we all have to look each other in the mirror and make sure that we are posing the right questions internally and acting in a way that we can only be proud of, not today, but in the next 10 years. What does Williams team principal James Vowles have to say? Williams team principal James Vowles was the first F1 team boss to be asked about the Horner allegations when speaking to Bloomberg TV following the launch of their F1 2024 challenger, the FW46. He said, 20 years ago, Formula One was mainly male dominated. If you asked me about a typical team member, they would likely be a white male around 40 years old. But things are changing for the better. That's changing. And it's only a positive that's changing that result. At Williams, I can only control what happens within our team. And what I can do within the environment is open. Everyone's eyes to this is how we have to be because the best ideas don't come from being a closed group of individuals. They come from diversity. These allegations are allegations. I'm afraid I don't understand what is behind them or the significance of what has happened. All I can say is that should this ever happen in our guard, we'll be entirely supportive in terms of fixing it and making sure we have a culture that is accepting of everyone. Helmut Marko, yet another figure. Another significant figure at Red Bull is Austrian motorsport consultant and former racer Helmut. Marco, who is currently 80 years old, Marco is not a formal employee of the team and is not and thought to have any aspirations for leadership within the team. However, Marco has been involved in controversies. Last September, he received a written warning from the sport's governing body after making comments about the performance of the team's driver, Sergio Perez, attributing it to his ethnicity. Friction between Horner and Marco has been reported since the passing of Red Bull's Austrian co-owner Dietrich Mateschitz in October 2022 and the introduction of new leadership within the energy drink brand. Also, it is announced that RB20, the new car, is set to launch on 15th of February. The Red Bull team, based in Milton Keynes, is getting ready to reveal its new car, the RB20, on February 15th. Max Verstappen, the team's driver, gave a hint about the car's appearance before the launch. He mentioned that the new car will closely resemble its predecessor, the RB19, maintaining the same look. Red Bull has been consistent with its livery in Formula One since 2016, and despite the team's significant success in recent years, the 2024 car is expected to continue this tradition. The team has a reputation for keeping a standard appearance, and it seems that the upcoming RB20 will follow the trend. February marks the time when Formula One teams reveal their new cars before the pre-season. Testing begins. This testing is set to happen at the Bahrain International Circuit in Sakir from February 21st to 23rd. At last year, the RB19 designed by Adrian Newey played a big role in Red Bull winning 22 out of 23 Grand Prix races. They missed one target in Singapore. The RB20 is expected to be an improved version of the RB19, aiming to address any performance gaps. During a sim racing live stream, Verstappen confirmed that the appearance of the car would stay the same for the 2024 season. Verstappen's winning streak, securing three consecutive championship titles, suggests he could be on track to claim a fourth title next year. This would match the record set by former F1 driver. Sebastian Vettel. However, while both Ferrari and Mercedes have shown confidence in their brand new cars, it's unclear if these new cars will present a serious challenge to Red Bull's RB20. So what do you think of the claims of Christian Horner about showing inappropriate behavior? Comment below and subscribe for more.